This is Emerson Murray. He's a former Division I shooting guard and a current basketball skills coach. And today I'm seeking his advice on how to become a lights out jump shooter in just 30 days. Here we go. To measure where I'm starting out, I'll be taking 25 shots from around the NBA three-point line. And I'm getting a pretty brutal reminder of just how far back the NBA three really is. Well, I did improve on some of the later spots. This was hardly the start I was hoping for. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired. I even managed to miss Emerson's high five at the end of the round. That's a good okay. job, man. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Next, I move into elbow jumpers off the dribble, where I think I should do a lot better. Beautiful. Good. But I actually just made two shots. I put those at the beginning so you'd think I was good. Ah. This brought my day one numbers to 9 out of 25 from 3, and a miserable 2 out of 10 on pull-up jump shots. It was an ugly first day, considering I only have 30 days to improve. You good, my dude? Yeah, I'm good. I just... I need a sec. In order to fit my practice around my work schedule, it's going to mean some pretty early mornings to get to the court and work through the drills and advice Emerson gave me. The biggest thing for us, I think, is following through and having it be a relaxed follow through yeah. rather than a forced follow through. These two fingers, our pointing finger and our middle finger, being the last two fingers to touch the basketball. So instead of shooting just uh, a normal form shot, we're exaggerating the arc on a shot. We just want to hold our follow through and shoot the ball nice and high. A lot of the time when we step into our pull-up jumper, we step with our toe first, and the, the balance pad there is garbage compared to getting that first heel down, giving us a nice strong base to have balance to go straight up. All right, so if you are wondering right now why I am waking up early in the middle of winter to go and work on my jump shot, well, that's because last summer I started to get back into playing basketball again, and I realized how much I still love playing. And even if I'm older, slower, and far less skilled than I used to be, I want to continue playing for as long as possible. And I think the fastest way I can make myself playable on the court at any age is by improving my jump shot. In the past 10 years, the game of basketball has gone through a shooting revolution. For a sport that used to be dominated by big dudes scoring in the paint, the three-point line was first introduced as an experiment to give basketball the equivalent of a home run ball and to increase scoring. Fast forward to today and well... Curry, way down to Players have gotten so good at shooting threes that it's become the dominant strategy in the NBA and has become an equalizer for players who are smaller, older, or less athletic to stay on the court and contribute for a team. So if it's guys who are older, slower, and less athletic... My plan is to start each morning with some basic form shooting close to the basket, exaggerating my arc on the ball to really work on following through with my wrist. Next, I'll work on shooting off the dribble, concentrating on landing heel-toe, and releasing the ball at the height of my shot. And finally, I'll move back toward the three-point line to work on maintaining my shooting form and mechanics, and not just compromising everything from distance and chucking the ball. Today, I am lucky enough to have Cam here rebounding for me, so hopefully I can get a lot more shots up in a quicker amount of time with his help. We're also going to film all of my shooting in slow motion so I can actually look at my form and see how well I'm implementing the advice Emerson gave me in our last session to make sure my mechanics are sound and I'm actually taking the advice and putting it into practice. Having someone to rebound allows me to put all my attention on my shot so I can adjust if it's consistently long or short and it allows me to really quickly get into a rhythm. Even better, I can work with Cam as a defender to mimic shooting in game scenarios. And so far this practice is going great. The ball is releasing off my pointer and middle finger, and I'm landing heel-toe off the dribble, so I'm going into my shot on balance and under control. Okay, so I have just noticed two mistakes I am making that I didn't catch on the day. 
The first one is that my guide hand is staying attached to the basketball all the way up to the point of release when it should be coming off and just guiding so it doesn't actually affect the trajectory of the shot. And the second thing I'm doing half of the time is I have a tendency to cut my follow through off short when I should be getting that full nice extension of the wrist that's gonna give the ball a backspin. And finally, this isn't really a mistake, but what the hell is going on with my face? Why am I doing this? It's just really bad to watch in slow motion. As important as it is to be getting in proper reps on these workouts, it's actually during my recovery time where the mechanics will begin to become second nature. That's because the neural pathways that carry signals from our brain to our muscles are strengthened and repaired during sleep. And a full eight hours of sleep after practicing has been found to increase our motor learning by up to 20%. Fortunately for me, I am a pretty great sleeper already, and that's in part thanks to my Helix mattress, which is the sponsor of this video. Helix makes premium mattresses that are customized to fit your needs and shipped right to your door. They've designed the Helix Sleep Quiz so they can find out how you like to sleep and pair you with the mattress that will give you the support you need for a great night's rest. When I took it, I was matched with the Helix Midnight Mattress, which arrived at my door one week later, and I have been sleeping great with it ever since. Getting a good night's sleep every night means I have more energy, and better focused, and see faster improvement with the goals I'm taking on. So if you feel like you're not getting the sleep you need, or you're looking to try a new mattress, go to the link below or enter helixsleep.com slash goalguys for up to $200 off your Helix mattress, plus two free pillows. Your Helix mattress comes with a 10-year warranty and a 100 night sleep guarantee to make sure it is the right fit for you. If you don't like it for any reason, Helix will give you a full refund. So go to the link below to get a Helix mattress that is the perfect fit for your sleep needs. Okay, so it is day 15 and I definitely feel like I have been improving with my form, with my technique. However, I realize when I actually go back to the gym on day 30, I'm gonna have pressure to perform and show that I've actually improved, which is gonna make shooting a lot more difficult. So today I've asked my brother to rebound for me again, but I've also promised him that if I do not beat my day one numbers from three, lunch is gonna be on me. It's not the biggest incentive in the world, but hopefully it just adds a little bit of pressure, puts a little bit of pride on the line. Let's see how I do. Let me get that free lunch, boy. As I try to get into a rhythm, it looks like this bet is already affecting how I shoot. One. Like, really affecting it. But just like day one, I start doing better as I move into the other shots. Okay, it's close. Two for five. Paul George, the corner threes. Oh my god. Paul George! I fell apart under the smallest pressure. And while Cam was celebrating his free burrito, this gave me a really bad feeling about how I do on the final day. Just a little bit stiff, and that is, that is not good when you're shooting the ball. You look a little nervous out there. Oh, I feel nervous. After a shaky warm-up, I really wanted to showcase how hard I'd been working and all of the improvements I'd made. Get it up a little bit. Instead, I shot a whopping four for 25. Because I can see, like, you're, like, tense when you shoot. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. just relax, be here. Try and keep everything up top. It's just like if you're boxing, right? Like, I can't do this. Like, you want to relax and let, let things move. So just relax. Unfortunately, as I tried to think of ways to make myself feel less tense, I only got stiffer and finished my second attempt shooting six for 25. The vibe so far is not good. This is gonna be the fifth time we've done the three-point shooting. Like, if this was me, I would be exhausted by now, but Emerson keeps telling him to take a break, but he's just <laughs> so determined to keep going, so I don't know. Man's determined, I'll give him that. But when we finally moved into the mid-range, I had been going and going for much longer than I was used to, and my body was about to hit a wall. Oh, you okay? Like when you relax, you're not out of breath, when you let your back kind of go and you let your core go? No. Okay, good. So I ended yesterday with a lower back strain, which is just a perfect 
painful reminder of how badly I choked. So now I get to look forward to two to three days of walking through my house like a very old man, at least a week of light mobility and strength training to rehab and get myself back to a place where I can move comfortably. And then I cannot let things end the way they did yesterday. I know I am a better shooter than that. And I know when my shot feels right and on target. And yesterday, everything felt off because I was completely in my head. So while I am rehabbing, I'm going to focus entirely on the mental component of shooting. And I know exactly where I'm going to start. Knowing the skill of how to become calm in any environment, that is a trainable skill. This is performance psychologist Dr. Michael Gervais and he's helped some of the world's best athletes perform in the highest pressure moments in sports. I decided I should rewatch an old interview he did with Cam so I could try using mental imagery to prepare for another attempt. So imagery is not more complicated than playing the most beautiful movie you could imagine. Feeling it, seeing it, smelling it, hearing it, of you having success in the future. The most disciplined way to do it is where you create an environment where you can drop in deeply focus on creating this movie for let's call it eight minutes, 12 minutes, really playing this movie, directing this movie, slowing it down, speeding it up, seeing it from real time. The best in the world, they spend time, a lot of time, imagining their future being brilliant. Okay, so decided it was better to wear my glasses today because I've realized when I'm practicing, I actually shoot and see a little bit better when I'm wearing them compared to my contacts. Because my back still isn't fully recovered all the way, I'm gonna do a thorough warm up. So I'm hopefully feeling loose, feeling relaxed mentally and physically before I go into my form shooting. And then final test begins. Ready? So 10 days after choking and only being able to visualize a better performance, this happened. Four for five, let's go baby! While I didn't expect to shoot that well from every spot, I was off to a great start. And then, it happened again. Five, baby. Oh. That's a good shot. One for two. Last one. When I tested my improvement on pull up jumpers, I finished three of five going to the left side followed by a perfect five for five driving to the right, bringing my day 40 numbers to 13 of 25 from deep and eight out of 10 on pull-up jump shots. After I saw my first two shots go in, it felt like my whole body completely relaxed and I could just enjoy shooting, knowing that I'd put in the work and I knew how much I had improved, especially when it came to shooting off the dribble. Still, this goal really puts into perspective just how good you have to be to shoot almost 40% in an NBA game with all the added pressure of screaming fans, media scrutiny, and the world's best defenders trying to lock you up, I tensed up just at the fear of having to share my progress on YouTube, which is some pretty low stakes. But hopefully if I keep working on my shot, I can enjoy at least knocking down a few threes next time I play pickup with some friends, which is pretty much all I'm going for these days. I wanna say a huge thanks to Emerson for all of his help coaching with this goal. His links are in the video description and I will see you guys in the next one.